Good afternoon, YouTube Auto Community. Rick and Cletus coming at you from the Heartbeat Model Shop. What's going on out there, guys? Uh, today's Sunday. Here in Florida, I think the heat index is up to like 105. Man, it's hot. Uh, <clears throat> I haven't done a video in a couple weeks since I did the final on my uh, uh, Chevy Titan 90 for the uh, Hunter Selby truck, uh, truck build. Uh, I want to congratulate Ray uh, and uh, 45 Productions um, on, on their placing uh, in the contest. Uh, just want to give a quick little update on uh, what I'm planning on doing here in the Heartbeat Bottle Shop over the next couple of weeks. Uh, I think I'm going to do like everybody else is. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try to finish up some... Uh, uh, bills that have been started and not finished. Uh, the only thing I am working on at the moment, I'm trying to get, uh, as you can see in the background back here, I'm working on the 69 Chevy Nova Copo. I'm trying to get this done for Model Palooza here in Orlando, uh, September 15th, I think it is. Uh, I'm trying to get that one done for that model show. If I get her done, fine. If I don't, I'm not going to worry about it. I'll bring it to Atlanta. Uh, so uh, that's uh, got everything in primer. Uh, like I say, it's just been so hot here. It's been, it's been 100 degrees uh, every day this week. I uh, haven't been up getting any painting done. I got lucky and got some priming done last week. Uh, so everything has been primered. So uh, that's what we've been working on uh, as far as that goes on this model here. Uh, I've got two or three models, four models actually. I think I got four. I don't have quite as many as uh, as Rick Zink does. And uh, mine's all, well, mine's all Chevy's except for one. Uh, I've been riding him a little bit because he's had so many Fords he hadn't got done. I told him if it had been Chevrolet's he had done, had them done. So uh, just, just messing with you, Rick. So, uh, I'm gonna try to do the same thing. I'm gonna try to get some uh, some models, some uh, some of these bills completed over the next two or three weeks. Uh, see if I can't get them done. Uh, I, of course, I got uh, of course I got Ratzilla. Uh, I need to get Ratzilla done. Uh, we'll probably do it first. Uh, so we're gonna try to get Ratzilla done. Uh, I've got a few more ideas and more parts gathered up that I think will look cool on it. Uh, I've just been gathering parts and pieces and kind of throwing them in, it, throwing them in the box, and and uh, so I think I might have, I might have enough to, together here to uh, to maybe get to get that done. So we're going to try to get that one done. Uh, I'm going to try and uh, going to try and finish my uh, Chevy Cheeseburger Extreme Challenge build. <laughs> Uh, we've had to uh, repaint it two or three different times and uh, uh, tried to open doors and, and uh, broke the A-post a and all that. So uh, so we're going to finally try to get this done. We've got that. We've got, uh, we got the engine done for it. I think it's going to look pretty cool in there. So uh, I'm going to try to get that one done. Let's see, Ricky, what else have I got? i got a 62 Chevrolet Impala. Uh, this one's been sitting for, uh, shoot, probably a year. Uh, don't know if you remember or not, but the first car I ever owned was a 62 Chevrolet Impala SS. 327 three-speed on the column. Uh, it was white, blue interior. And, um, I messed up trying to do my bare metal full on it. And I messed it up and just kind of throwed it back in the, uh, box. Uh, I guess I didn't throw it, but I mean I put it back in the box. Said I wasn't gonna mess with it anymore. And then uh, this was my first attempt. Uh, Interior-wise, mine was this color blue with the bucket seats. Uh, I fabricated a little small. I had a little small console in between my bucket seats on mine. And uh, so I think I've got the interior just looking identical to the way mine looked. So uh, we're going to try to get this one finished up. Uh, this model, particular model came with a 409. And that was another reason that kind of slowed me up a little bit. And, because I didn't want to put a 409 in it. So I finally found a, a 327. Uh, okay, I almost got it built and ready to go. So we're going to try to finish that one. And then I've got a Camaro funny car somewhere uh, that was yellow. 
and uh, I'm going to try to finish that up. So, uh, looks like I got about three or four of them I need to get done. Uh, try to get them finished up. I'm going to try uh, some uh, embossing powder on the extreme build for the carpet. I uh, picked that up yesterday at uh, Michael's. Uh, I've had heard a couple of people make the comment they thought the embossing powder looked more realistic than flocking. I don't know. I've never used either one. So we're just going to try it and see what happens. Uh, I just picked up a basic uh, kind of a flat black yesterday at Michael's. A little small container. So we're going to try that here in just a few minutes. We're going to try it and uh, see how see how it works out. Like I said, I've never done it before. So we're just going to take a spoon, I think, and just uh, try to try it on a spoon first. Uh, just to see how it works out. Uh, I guess uh, I'm going to try the Elmer's White Glue. I'll probably try that first, and if that doesn't do real well, whatever white shows you, I may try the exact same color, like a black black paint, brush it on, and then try it that way. So uh, that seems to be the two ways that I've seen people do on, on you guys do on YouTube. Uh, so we're going to try it for the first time here this afternoon. Uh, so... Uh, Guys, that's about it. Uh, we got some projects we want to finish up on. Uh, I'm going to try to get this copo done for uh, Model Palooza. If we get her done, fine. If we don't, then uh, I've seen a couple of them built on YouTube. Uh, Chris at uh, Classic Plastic did his the shoot. I forget what color the light blue color maybe. It only come in four colors. And I think I saw where Gene Crabtree did his in the green color. So I'm going to, I've am going i been trying to find the Matador Red because that was one of the colors you could use. And I think I found some uh, uh, paint that, uh, yesterday at Michael's. It's awful close. So I'm going to try this. Uh, it's Americana. I think it's Americana brand paint. Uh, and it's a multi-surface, so I'm hoping it's going to be maybe it's going to be good for uh, for plastic. So uh, we're going to try this color red here and see how close that is. It looks like it's awful close to Matador red. Uh, so we're going to try that in the wire brush. I uh, don't know if I'll get her done tonight or not, but uh, once again I'm going to do a spoon first. Uh, see how that comes out. So. Uh, uh, we'll just do uh, just work at it and see if we can get done what we can there. So uh, guys uh, uh, As usual from the heartbeat model shop here including me and Cletus. Uh, we hope everybody has a great week coming up Be careful be safe and we will check in with you guys later